Okay, everybody. I've just looked at all of your initial floor plans and sections. Most, most of it looked pretty good. Uh, there are a couple of things I wanted to talk about. One of those things is how to draw a section line. But before we do that, I just wanted to touch base about a couple of things that a lot of people seem to be struggling with. So first of all, uh, you can see that when I have drawn my floor plan, which you remember is cut at four feet off of the ground, that the where I've made that cut, I want dark lines with nice crisp corners, and then I'm gonna fill with a poche. Many of you used a very open hatch, which is to say there's a lot of room between the lines in your poche. It's really important that that poche is a fill. We're trying to fill that in and make it visually heavier and darker. So you don't want these lines super far apart. If I'm doing a real poche fill, a lot of times I'll do them this close together, although you do not have to. But you do need to do them close enough together that they make a visual fill. And we understand that this is all a wall. The other thing is that every drawing title should be in a title block like this. Many of you did not have that. And that that title block should be below the drawing on the page, and it should be aligned with the left-hand side of the drawing. If I were going to do any dimensions here, this would be a little bit close. You might want a little more air, but this doesn't go up here and it doesn't go over here. It goes below the drawing and aligned with the left-hand side. But let's talk about section lines now. So as you know, you need to do two sections for this project at right angles to each other. So what I'm going to do is show you how to draw that section line and then give you a couple of thoughts about how to draw the, uh, the section itself. So when we do our section line, and I'm going to take this section right here, many of you drew a line all the way through the drawing. We don't need to do that because it can be, make the drawing confusing. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line on each side that are aligned with each other. And on this side, I'm just gonna put what we call a foot. And a foot is a filled rectangle. All right, so it looks like that. And I'm just going to fill this like this. You could fill it with marker. You could fill it with a very close poche, but, but in some way that needs to be filled, all right? Then on the other end over here, I'm going to give myself a, where'd it go? <laughs> three quarter, there it is, a three quarter inch circle. Ah, I lost it there for a minute. Three quarter inch circle. That might be a little big. You could go down to five eighths for this if you felt, if you felt like that was more appropriate. And I'm going to name this section A. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to give myself two 45 degree lines. All right. And then this also gets filled. And again, you can fill that however you want to. Some people use marker on the back of the paper, which is totally fine. Um, I'm just doing a really quick linear fill, which is also totally fine. But in some way, I want that filled. And so what this says to the viewer now is that we're taking a cut through here and these tell us we're looking that way. And this tells us what the name of that section is. So that when I am looking elsewhere in the package or elsewhere on the plate for this, this sectional view, I know to look for section A. Okay, so that is the designation that we want to use. It doesn't go all the way through and it is labeled. It has a foot on one end and it has a triangle made up of 45 degree angles on both sides and then is filled. Now let's come down here and look at, the, at our 
sectional drawing. I went ahead and made a sectional drawing at nine foot six of our eight foot wide container. And you can see that I, oh, whoops, that I aligned it with my drawing, right? So the front and the back are aligned with my floor plan. The reason I do that is then I don't have to measure these. I can just drop them down with my triangle, drop them right into place. That also means that when I want to draw the location of this desk that I drew here, I can simply drop that in place, right? And now I know that tables and desks typically are about 29 inches high. So, which is two foot five. So at two foot five, I'm going to give myself, I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera this time. Okay, and let's say that that's, let's say that that's about an inch and an eighth thick, which is a very standard, you know, desktop thickness. Now, in looking at our floor plan and in looking at where our sectional line goes through, we know we're cutting through here, we're not cutting through there, okay? So that means that we need to show this as being cut through and this as not being cut through. So I'm going to darken this because this is built in and it's cut through. And then I'm gonna come in and guess what? I'm gonna push A. I'm gonna push A that because I've cut through it. And see, this is how I do these really tight push A's. I just do them really quickly. You can see that it travels pretty fast. You don't have to think about it too terribly much. And so now I can see that I have cut through my floor plan on this line. I'm looking that way so I can see the desk that I've cut through and I can see the desk that I haven't cut through. All right. Now, there are other things we would need to do. Obviously, you can't just have that plane floating there. So there's probably some kind of little ledger strip on the wall that is holding that up. Um, and that probably goes all the way across. It's probably attached to that wall back there as well. I'm gonna use a slightly lighter line to show that. Um, when we have a something like a ledger strip that's just one piece of lumber, instead of pocheting, if you want to, you can show, you can just make a cross through it like that. So, that's what I wanted to show you. Feel free to watch the video as many times as you need to to understand what a sectional line looks like, which way it points, and how the corresponding section aligns down here. And then, of course, I would put section A and make my title here aligned with the left-hand side. Great. So many of your floor plans and sections looked wonderful, and I'm really impressed, and I look forward to seeing the final product.